Hey everyone, this is Carla with Discover Your Center and I want to make an invitation to um, Monday Night Yin Yoga this July. Um, you can join at any time and there'll be recordings for every Monday. Uh, about half the class usually shows up live and about half uh, tends to listen or watch at home and you get the recordings so you can practice in between classes. But I'm out here in my garden because the theme for July is really like what in you wants to bloom and the yin yoga practice has uh, been probably more consistent than, than other styles of yoga. Like I've really enjoyed yoga. There are times that my body when it's ready to evolve and my, I feel like my soul and my whole being is ready to evolve that sometimes I've had to look at, okay, how does my yoga practice want to evolve? How does my movement practice want to evolve? How do my habit, habits want to evolve? And the yin, pro, the yin practice has always um, been there for me in that it's one where we get to go in and do what we call playing the edge. Like we're finding a deep challenge and it can be really uncomfortable in that space, but we're never looking um, to in, for injury, right? Like we're always curious about where is that threshold of harm because that's not what any of our yoga should be. And I don't think it's what life um, needs to be or should be that we're, we're always looking for how can I create more ease in this? How can I let this contribute to me? It doesn't mean it's not uncomfortable, um, but that we are always with total awareness, really checking in with, is this contributing to me or am I pushing through? Is this contributing to me or am I really pulling back because it's uncomfortable? So on the mat, we hold the postures three to five minutes, um, deep stretches, um, most are on the floor and we're just tuning in with some questions that will help listen deeply to the body and the information it's always giving you on the mat so we can be more curious off the mat in our movement, in our relationships, in our work, in our home, like everywhere that we go, it can contribute. Because I really believe that when the body is speaking to us, it actually is also like our deeper yearning and our, um, there are times that we do experience injury, right? And, and trauma to the body, but it's all connected. So the energy, the emotions, the, the, the every part of us is connected to also our physical body. And this is one of my favorite practices where we can go and we can just be curious and listen um, in a space of stillness where we're looking for slow transitions in between. And from that place, I think in my own practice, I've also learned then when do I need a more vigorous practice and to balance that out? When might um, I have so much energy that's kind of being held that I actually really just need to shake. I have a whole video on just shaking <laughs> the lymphatic shake like when we might just need to shake or tap or really be like okay body i'm here and, and what what is it like to be in here um so in general this whole practice which is appears very passive but is active as well we get to play with those pulsations and get really curious about what does my body really need right now what does my soul really yearn for right now and need what, what's happening in my emotions and how can I create space for that? Um, spirit, mind, like what are all these parts of the whole asking for? And on the mat is a space of curiosity. So um, this may not be your practice because maybe you're in the space of evolution where something else is calling you or a different style of yoga, a different teacher, different movement practice. Go there, follow it, what lights you up, go. But if you get the sense that this yin yoga practice of being in um, stillness in these postures where you're really finding the deep challenge and then playing that edge for three to five minutes in each one of them for one hour on a Monday night. I love it at night because it's part of the wind down practice for me as well. Um, then go check it out, discoveryourcenter.com. And uh, love to have you there. It's a really fun group of people. And um, yeah, many are, I, most are returning, so it'll be really fun. Go out into the world, find how your body wants to move, what it needs to be still, how you can listen, how you can be curious and really open yourself up to what else is possible, um, especially during times of transition. And always, always be in the question. It will help you tap into more of you, the, the true nature, the true desires, and um, the space to be more of you. Thanks so much, really grateful. Here's my garden. Uh, these started as little seeds. <laughs>
so cool, right? Um, now they're really big. The, the peas, we are, oh, I actually see one, but they're pretty much done, but we're letting them go to seed and let the tomato, cherry tomato vines grow up. Uh, got some flowers over there and it's just been fun. And then there's always this process of weeding, right? <laughs> That's what I like about, I think in Yin too, like we're, we're just searching and like what is ready to release? We pull out the weeds. How do we let things bloom? That will be the space of our July practice. So come join if that sounds fun.